Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to prepare rough stock for use. Let's get started. One of the challenges that we woodworkers have is that we mostly want to be working with wood that's flat across its width, has parallel faces, is flat across its length, and has at least one square edge. So why is that a challenge? Machining this prepared stock from this. Trees grow round. I don't know why. It would be much easier if they grew square. But anyway, when a sawmill slices up a log to make slabs and then rough lumber, the pieces are mostly rectilinear, but not flat and square enough for fine woodworking. This board is pretty typical of a piece of rough lumber you might get at a sawmill or a lumber yard. But as you can see in this state, it's a bit of a mystery. We can see some grain pattern, but what does it truly look like? Are there cracks or checks? Are there blemishes? It's really hard to tell. To get an initial bit of understanding regarding those questions, I like to take a couple of minutes to examine the end and edge grain and take a peek at the face grain. Frankly, these are optional steps, but as some would say, a minute of preparation is worth an hour of power. Now we've reached a point where we need to make a decision. Most of the time when you're surfacing lumber like this, you have a project in mind. So you have a material list and you know the dimension of the pieces that you'll need. Why is this important? To make this process easier and more efficient. If the widest piece of lumber you need for your project is say six inches, you really don't need to try to face joint a 12 inch wide board flat. Likewise, with the length of the project pieces, you can often get a better yield and better results by breaking down a large board into smaller pieces. After breaking down the stock, the next step is to face joint the wood. Not only do we want it flat across the width of the board, but most importantly, we want it across the length of the board. And before you start, check out the edge grain. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the grain is running downhill as you run it across the jointer. Set the joiner's fence to accommodate your stock's width. The depth of the cut should be very shallow, less than 1 16th of an inch to start out. Stand facing the machine at a slight angle, forward hand on top of the stock, and rear hand using a push block or stick of some sort. Smoothly engage the board to the cutter and push the board through. It's important to transfer the downward pressure of the cut to the outfeed table. It is your datum for achieving flatness along the length of the board. So your first cut will give you a bit more information. Are there high spots? Are there low spots? Is the cut deep enough or too deep? And are you tearing out any grain? Everything seems to be working well here, so we'll move forward. After a quick look, take multiple passes and flatten the face of the board. With the face flattened, now mark this face and figure out which edge you're going to square up. I'm choosing this one. Check to make sure that your fence is perfectly square to the jointer's bed. Then with the surfaced face of the board securely up against the fence, run the board across the cutter. When you have a clean edge, check to make sure it's square. As you can see, I prepared my stock and now we're ready to use the planer. It is so important to get that board flat in length and across the width because that's a task that the planer just won't do. If I had a long board that had a bow in it and I ran it through the surfacing planer, what I'd have is a long bowed board with two smooth faces. That's not what you want. Measure the thickness of your stock and set the planer to a very shallow first cut, less than 1 16th of an inch. As with face joining, be aware of the edge grain direction to avoid possible tear out. Process your pieces through the planer until they are all smooth and uniform in thickness. So there you have it. Now you have prepared stock. It's flat in length, flat in width, and it has a square edge. Just what you wanted. But is it? It might be, but is the stock exactly to the thickness that you want? If not, a bit more planing is in your future. And what about this edge here? It's not square to the face. What should you do with it? That depends. If you're going to process these pieces further, say into 
face frame material, then just leave it alone. If you're going to glue up a panel from just two of the pieces, then the same answer, leave them alone. But if you're going to make a wider panel, then trim the edge and square it up on the jointer. So that's it. We've walked through the steps of taking rough stock and preparing it for fine woodworking. I hope you might have learned a couple of things and maybe it was interesting to watch. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.